Did you know that over 20% of engine failures are linked to oil-related issues? And in many cases, it's because the oil was too thin for the job. As automakers push for maximum fuel efficiency, ultra-thin oils like 0W16 and 0W20 are for becoming the new normal. But here's the million-mile question. Are we sacrificing engine longevity just to save a few drops of fuel? Today, we're diving into cold flow tests, heat resistance trials, real-world engine pressure comparisons, and labware data to finally answer whether thinner oils are protecting your engine or quietly wearing it down. Let's begin with, what does oil viscosity really mean? You've probably seen numbers like 0W20 or 5W30 on oil bottles and thought, is this motor oil or a secret code to unlock a Formula One car? Well, those numbers actually tell us the oil's viscosity, or in plain English, how thick or thin it flows. Think of viscosity like the difference between maple syrup and water. One crawls, the other sprints. The lower the number, the thinner the oil, especially in cold conditions. But those numbers don't mean the oil stays thick or thin all the time. It's temperature dependent. That first number with the W, which stands for winter, not weight, by the way, shows how the oil behaves in cold starts. The second number tells us how it performs when your engine is running hot and heavy. So a 0W20 oil flows super easily when it's freezing outside, but still protects like a thicker oil when the engine warms up, in theory. Then another question pops in our mind. So why is the auto industry suddenly obsessed with oils that are so thin they practically pour like water? It's not because they want to risk your engine's health. It's because of a relentless race toward fuel efficiency and emission reduction. Thinner oils create less resistance inside the engine, which means less energy is wasted fighting against drag. Imagine it this way. Would you rather run through a pool of honey or glide through water? Your engine feels the same. The smoother the flow, the easier it is to operate. And when manufacturers are squeezing every fraction of a mile per gallon and trying to meet strict global emission standards, even a 0.3% boost in efficiency becomes a big deal. That's why oils like 0W16 and 0W20 are showing up in modern vehicles. But while they help engines run cleaner and leaner, what happens when that engine gets pushed hard? The answer might not be what you think, and it's not in the efficiency charts. Let's talk cold starts. The moment your engine is at its most vulnerable and your oil either steps up or freezes in fear. In lab tests that mimic those icy winter mornings, thinner oils like 0W16 absolutely fly out of the gate, literally. Imagine a race where four oils are lined up in frozen test tubes at minus 40 degrees Fahrenheit, 0W16, 0W20, 5W20, and 5W30. As soon as the flag drops, 0W16 shoots through like it's late for work. The thicker 5W30, still putting on its boots. This is where thinner oils shine. They flow faster in the cold, which means they reach critical engine parts sooner, reducing startup wear. It's impressive. But here's where things start to get complicated. Just because an oil performs like a champ in the cold doesn't mean it holds up when things heat up. That same quick flowing oil might just turn into your engine's weakest link under real world heat and pressure. Now, let's turn up the heat. Engines don't run at room temperature. They operate under intense, unforgiving heat, especially around the piston rings and turbo zones. So what happens when we expose different oils to a two hour torture session at 410 degrees Fahrenheit? Thinner oils like 0W16 start to show signs of stress fast. They darken, bubble, and release more vapor, a sign of evaporation and thermal breakdown. Meanwhile, thicker oils like 5W30 stay cooler under pressure, retaining more volume, color, and stability. This isn't just about looks. When oil evaporates, it loses its protective film, leaving vital engine parts exposed. In the lab, the 0W16 lost over 4 grams in weight from evaporation alone, while 5W30 barely flinched with just 3.5 grams lost. It's a small number, but inside your engine, every gram matters. Because the real question is, when your engine's boiling and your oil's thinning, is there enough left to protect what matters most? Let's discuss additives and engine cleanliness. 
These chemical compounds don't just sit there, they fight grime, neutralize harmful acids, and keep your engine's insides as clean as a surgeon's tools. In lab results, something surprising showed up. The thinnest oil, 0W16, actually had the highest concentration of detergents and dispersants, clocking in at over 1800 parts per million, compared to the 1300 ppm range seen in the thicker grades like 5W30. That means 0W16 isn't just slipping through tight clearances, it's scrubbing the path as it goes. It also had the highest TBN, total base number, a key measure of how well oil can neutralize engine acid buildup over time. So, while thinner oils might raise eyebrows for protection under pressure, they're surprisingly aggressive when it comes to fighting sludge and corrosion. But here's the thing, even the best additive package can't compensate if the oil evaporates or thins too much under extreme heat. It's a delicate balance, one that your engine relies on every single mile. So, after looking at lab tests, heat trials, wear scars, and real-world pressure numbers, what's the bottom line? Well, thinner oils aren't inherently bad, and they're not some grand conspiracy to destroy your engine. Automakers are pushing them because they help squeeze out every last drop of fuel efficiency, reduce emissions, and improve cold starts. And as long as you're using the exact grade recommended by your vehicle's manufacturer, you're playing it safe. Modern engines are engineered with ultra-tight tolerances and tested with these thin oils from day one. But, and it's a big but, these oils leave less margin for error. Push your engine hard, skip oil changes, or use a grade it wasn't designed for, and things can go south fast. So no, thinner oils won't damage your engine if they're the right ones. But swapping grades without understanding the consequences? That's where real damage begins. Stick to what's in the manual, because in the world of motor oil, thinner doesn't always mean weaker, but it definitely means less forgiving. Thanks for watching. If you found this helpful, give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more honest breakdowns just like this. Got questions or your own experience with engine oils? Drop a comment below. I read them all.